Cheers from Japan, I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard, and I have so much fucking junk today that I can't drop the bag on the thing like I usually do when I start a video. Also, I probably shouldn't swear right off the bat, but you know what? I'm a bit angry. I finally was eligible for monetization uh, through YouTube, but then I got an email saying that, sorry, you're not eligible. So that could either be to me swearing a lot, which I don't see why that would be a problem. Um, especially since you can't monetize kids videos anymore so and I have to click that this is not for kids so yeah uh, I've got bastard in my name my channel's name so that's no that's kind of the same thing issue right there uh, or it could be some of the older videos I uploaded that were like old TV commercials and shit but you know whatever anyway fuck you YouTube anyway thanks for watching and this is probably one of the biggest junk hauls I've ever gotten uh, basically from three um auctions from yahoo auctions japan and a few uh big junk bags that i bought today at uh hobby off in hachioji so we're gonna get through all this as fast as possible i've spent two hours going through it and organizing it get rid of, getting rid of the stuff that would not be interesting to show on camera for example a bag of balls not very interesting but it's colorful and i bagged them up separated them look at my balls so yeah, let's get started here. Um, I'm gonna start with the thing, the first two things that I actually found today. And these are just small little things. I'm gonna go through this quickly. I found these two little uh, Sega Game Prize Evangelion uh, keychains of Ray and Asuka and the little blister cards. I like things that come in little blister cards and these were kind of cool. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep these or if I'm gonna sell these, but a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be showing today is mostly stuff I'm gonna be keeping. But um, uh, there's a lot of stuff I had to take out of this that I will uh, be putting for sale too. I'll, I will kind of give you guys glimpses of that. But these I'm not sure about. So let me know if you're interested in these. All right, up next uh, is this right here. Let's see, I'm gonna have to adjust my camera, I think. No, that's all right, I'll adjust it in a second. So this is actually a uh, book rack, complete comic rack. By the way, in Japan, I know everyone thinks Japanese comics are called manga. Uh, yeah, they are called manga, but literally, if you ask any Japanese person about manga, they will often use the word comic. They'll say comic. They won't say manga as much, but they'll say manga and comic. It's interchangeable, so manga doesn't uh, necessarily mean uh, it could be anything. So, yeah, comic is used also here, so there you go. Japanese manga, complete comic rack. So I have the complete set of the manga. Uh, in Japanese and in English. This is for the Japanese set. The English one, the omnibus is slightly different size, so wouldn't fit as much. And I don't want to get all of them out right now, but I will take this out and assemble it real quick just so you can see what it looks like. So I will do that instantaneously. By the way, I was looking for my scissors to slice that open, and then I remembered that this was one of the items in the junk uh, that I got today that was actually very useful. I can use this to slice open boxes and tape and whatnot. So yay! Useful junk. Oh, I was kind of hoping this would be translucent red. Oh, hey, well, that's kind of cool. There is some red in there. All right, let's put this together. Wrong side. <laughs> and there you have it. The completed Evangelion manga comic rack. It's got some artwork on the side from the comic by Yoshiki Saramoto. And this cool, uh, this cool little, the little warning thing on the back there. It says complete was a complete comic rack. That's what it says. With all the numbers and stuff. Kind of cool little display. I can actually put uh, my manga series here. I've only I've only got one out here at the moment. Or if I wanted to, I could put my uh, my DVD Blu-ray collection. These are bootlegs. So yeah, maybe I can save some space with this. Three hundred yen, bargain. All right, let's get with some toys. All right, I'm gonna segue into the toy section with a non-toy, but it's Evangelion related. Evangelion? 
Evangelion related, and uh, I found this before, but I found this again today for just 100 yen, so I picked it up. Oh, I gotta move my cameras. All right. Um, and this is the Evangelion versus Godzilla, or Godzilla Tai, uh, almost a Mecha Gojira. Gojira Tai Evangelion. Um, there's Godzilla on the back, Godzilla versus Evangelion. It's just a little notebook. You open up, it's got artwork on the back. And the inside, here's the artwork. Uh, you can see a bit better in camera since I can't open it up all the way and fit it in frame. And it's got Godzilla and some places to write. And Ava Unit 1 on the other side, etc, etc. I think this was given away, uh, maybe... So it's promoting Nanoko cards. Maybe this was given away at 7-Eleven. I don't know. But anyway, it's a cool little thing. And that brings us to uh, not another toy. <laughs> We're getting to toys, I promise. Uh, but we have another promotional Godzilla-related item here. So this is the Battle of Godzilla and Hakone Godzilla 1995 uh, promotional badge. And it is sealed and minty, and it is much larger than I originally expected. Um, this was actually not in one of the lots that I got online. So all the previous stuff I just showed you, that was stuff I found today at Hobby Off. This was something I found on Yahoo Auctions for 18 yen. I won this for 18 yen. And I was expecting it to be kind of all rusted and tiny, but it's actually, I've got big hands, but these are actually, it was actually large and minty fresh. So I was very happy to get this. I, li I like to collect little badges like this. So, all right, I promise, toys now. All right, while we're talking about auctions, I'll bring up another really cool item that I got in an auction, one of the Godzilla auctions I won. And this is a vintage Godzilla Heisei era uh, model kit, which looks so cool on the sprues. And I'm debating if I should put it together. I, I'm definitely gonna put it together. But um, I wish you could see the instructions on the other side. But I'm still not entirely sure what year this was released. I haven't really done a lot of research on it. But definitely this was produced sometime in the early 90s, I'm going to guess. So yeah, this is really cool. So check out my Instagram if you want to see this put together sometime this weekend. Or whenever you're watching this. Alright, up next, another auction item. Uh, this was, yeah, from Yahoo Auctions, and this is a uh, vintage 1993 Utaka Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla uh, mini Sofabee set, and I got this really cheap, and I got it mainly because I, I don't have this, uh, this little Godzilla Sofabee here. I do collect, like, the miniature Heisei uh, Godzilla Sofabee. I was missing this sculpt. I'm not a huge fan of this version of Mechagodzilla, but I do love Utaka and these old-school boxes. And the main seller on this, uh, after finding that sculpt, was this little Keshi set of uh, a Keshi Mazer uh, tank and some other little Keshi tanks. So uh, we'll talk more about Keshi and Eraser Toys later, but these, this was a cool little set. The box isn't the best condition, so I'll probably open this up, but uh, I'm gonna leave it boxed for now since I gotta get through a bunch of other stuff. All right, uh, one more, f nah, well, okay. Not one more, but uh, here's another auction item, and I actually won an entire set of these. Uh, these are from a few years ago. Uh, the little miniature uh, soft vinyl Godzilla figures. And there were a few waves. This wave came with these figures, and I actually won the auction, and it came with all of these, except for this one, which is, it. sorry, except for this one, the uh, blue anime Godzilla, which is interesting because I found this at Book Off in my last hunting video, if you watch that. I uh, didn't pick it up, but it was actually a decent price. But I won this near complete lot for, um, uh, I think it was, uh, it was like under 20 bucks. It was like under 2,000 yen. And I mainly won this lot because I wanted this uh, version of Godzilla before he's about to do his climax thing going on. So let's crack this open real quick. You gotta make sure you don't damage the box. You don't, you don't want to damage the box when you're opening rare collectibles. Anybody want any, any gum? And here is the G Feller. Now, I've been after this one for a couple of years now. Um, I had the standard version that didn't have the chrome purple things going on. And um, this one was actually pretty hard to find. And anytime I would find it, uh, like at Nakano Broadway or where, wherever uh, I would find it, if I found it, it would be kind of pricey. So I, was, I would always wait. And one problem I had with the uh, the original version was his, his tail was too it was too stumpy compared to like what it is in the movie. Sorry, I can barely talk. 
I, don't, I can't quite tell if this is any longer. It looks like it might be longer, but maybe not. It's still pretty stumpy looking. But he's a cool little figure. So I like I like my, my Shin Godzillas. So I'm happy to add this guy to my collection. And real quick while I'm talking about him, uh, I will show you the other ones that I did get in this lot, which are these right here. And uh, I actually ended up getting two of these, so I will have one of these for sale, the Heisei Biollante Godzilla. And my son claimed these, so he's been playing with them. And I also picked him up a, uh, a little Ultraman that's the same scale so that he could fight Ultraman with those guys. All right, uh, I'll just leave this here. Um, let's keep going with the auction stuff because I do have some Godzilla stuff that I found today, but not much. Um, actually, let me clear this off. Let me get a nice white background going. Yeah, that's much better. These guys are kind of small. It would have been hard. Uh, so I got them on their clean white background and up close and personal. So uh, these are mid-90s uh, Godzilla Keshi. And um, I actually got these in separate lots. This is I got in its own. And it was originally on the sprues. And I posted this in the, God uh, blah, 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 the Godzilla Collectors Group and also on Instagram uh, on the sprue. And then I couldn't help it. I, I had to take him off the sprues and put him together. And he looks glorious. This is my favorite. Uh, color of Keshi. So anytime I find a favorite character in this color, I always snag it unpainted. I like them unpainted. And then over here, uh, we have a black version uh, with a different sculpt. This one's got, if you can see up close, they are different sculpts. And I do have uh, this in green as well. Let me see if I can get this. I have a green one of this, but I, I forgot to grab them. But uh, I've had him for a while, but nice to have these other ones that I was missing. And yeah, these are rubbery, little rubbery dudes. Um, so yeah, I've got more to talk about, uh, regarding, uh, uh, Godzilla Keshi, so hang on a second. So yeah, I actually won that in a big lot. So this is all the other stuff that I won, uh, in that little lot of Godzilla Keshi. This is separate, this is, but anyway, this is, uh, the, the Biollante Godzilla that I will have for sale. I have them, I'm gonna try to maybe sell them all together with these guys, but, um, these are all different little Keshi painted, uh, Keshi Godzilla's, uh, Heisei era. Some of them are from little the little deluxe sets. There's a bunch of different ones in here. These are all going to be for sale uh, as one group lot. Um, so yeah, yeah, buy it. Find me on Instagram at Tokyo Toy Bastard. And while we're on the topic of Godzilla Keshi, I found this today. This was one of the only Biolantes I was missing in this sculpt, and it's glow in the dark, glorious. I found some really good uh, Biolante at Hobby Off last time too, so super stoked to get this guy. But in an auction, one of the other auctions that I won this week, um, I also got these little guys right here, and these are the ones that I'm keeping. So these were promotional 1993 uh, little uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, uh, Godzilla Keshi, and I got the classic Mechagodzilla Glow in the Dark. I, I love the Glow in the Dark ones. Let's put these over here. Um, these are all Glow in the Dark, by the way. Uh, I've got a different Biollante. So this is uh, in kind of a neon green. Or sorry, not neon green, neon yellow. And then you've got the standard uh, just Glow in the Dark. And then I've also got an orange one, and then I've got a green one. So now I believe I have the complete set of these. Interestingly that I won this because I wanted to complete it and then today I found the one that I needed to complete the set. Very, very interesting. Um, fate. Keshi Fate. And uh, here is King Ghidorah. Still on the sprue thingy. And Super X2, right? Is it Super X2? If it was regular Super X, I'd know. I'm not as familiar with uh, anything after Biollante or yeah, that's the mainly. I'm my blah, 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 blah. Yep. And here's a bunch more that I didn't need or don't want, uh, or doubles, etc. And there's Godzilla, there's Mecha Godzilla, Mothra, Batra, Gigan, and all the little baggies. So these are going to be for sale. Hit me up if you want them. And the final Godzilla item that I got, uh, non auction, that I found today at Hobby Off was this little tiny cute. Uh, uh, vintage uh, Takara Godzilla um, friction toy. And you know I like my friction toys and wind-up toys. You got the little Takara logo there. And uh, these aren't super rare or anything. I do see them often. Uh, but I believe originally, yeah, you can see there, they're supposed to have spark come out of his mouth. Now there's just, I am making my, <laughs> there's actually literally smoke coming out of his mouth. I don't want to set fire to this table. And he's also getting uh, gunk all over my white uh, backdrop, which is, you know, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's see him in action. 
Whoa, wow, Godzilla. Please don't set fire to my house. He kind of goes, he's a little rusty. All right, that's all for the Godzilla, but while we're on the topic of giant monsters and friction toys, I did find this guy. He was also in a junk bin for next to nothing. And if you've been watching me for a year or more, uh, I actually found one of these like mint in the box. I was super excited about it. And then my friend Steven really, really wanted it. And I ended up selling it to him and I kind of regretted it later, but I know it's in a good, a good home. But I found one today with no box, but um, really awesome. So this was uh, another, like I think UFO catcher, promotional uh, tie-in thing uh, from a uh, game center um, for the third Gamera film and Gamera trilogy. And basically, this is kind of weird though. It is friction based. You think it would go forward, but he actually goes backwards. And this one needs like maybe a little work to it. It seems like uh, there might be some things going wrong mechanically inside. But man, look at all that glitter. Mm. Um, but he looks cool like this. But if you push him back, he moves back very slowly. <laughs> the one I used to have was much faster. And if he hits his tail, uh, it's supposed to make him pop up. But this this mechanism currently doesn't work. So I got to work on that. He's supposed to like pop up like this. So it can go, blah, I'm Gamera. But yeah. Anyway, he's still cool to have and kind of just display like he's flying like this. But he still rolls forward, sort of. Okay, I do have one more kaiju to talk about, but it's not Godzilla or Gamera. It is Red King. And I found this little Red King today for just a couple hundred yen. And uh, a friend of mine in Mexico that's been buying a lot of Safabi from me and stuff has kind of got me into Red King since I started collecting... Um, uh, Ultraman. I started collecting some Bolton, and now I've kind of I've kind of fallen in love with Red King. So I've got some Red King Keshi, and then I found this translucent Red King. So I've got to display him with my uh, my growing Ultraman collection, which is growing rapidly, as you're about to find out. <clears throat> Ultraman. Sorry about that. Uh, that was actually one of the Ultraman that I won. I won so many Ultraman in, the, in this giant lot. Um, I gave some to my son, and some of them were so junky that I just either dumped them today at Hobby Off, uh, or if they were like completely destroyed, threw them in the trash. So I'm only taking the best out of the best, and the ones I'm about to show you here are the ones that I kept from my own collection. So let me show them to you. First one up is this old, well played with uh, Bendy Ultraman that I love. And I have a I have a thing for Bindi toys, um, I don't know why, but I I I've, I find some that are really cool and I, I I pick them up, and now they're starting to accumulate. So I have like a really cool Darth Vader one, I have a really cool Batman one, and um, now I've got this Ultraman one. And uh, you know even though he's got all this, all this wear on his head, like he's still really cool. Uh, I don't know. They're just and it's so heavy. They're just really nice. They're just, they feel cool to play with. But I don't know when this was made. Uh, I don't believe there are, there is a marking on his foot that just says like Super Ride Productions. But I don't know when this was made. So if you know when this was made, let me know. Up next, we've got another Yutaka uh, Ultraman. So this is the, uh, wait. Did I get a Yutaka last time? I can't remember. I got something similar to Yutaka last time. Um, and I, I get a lot of people commenting that they hate the Yutaka uh, stuff, especially the Ultraman stuff. But since I'm a Dragon Ball collector and I love the Dragon Ball Yutaka line, um, by proxy, I also love these just because they're the same they're the same scale. They've got the same joint system. They've got the same crappy paint and the, the, the same three screws or four screws in the back. Uh, you know, it just, it just, it just, it just, I just love it. Is amazing. It's, it's beautiful. Cheapness is is awesome. I love cheap toys. You know, I don't know something about them. They're just great, and uh, that's why I love this. Up uh, next, I found these two beautiful Poppy uh, Ultraman and Mother of Ultra today, and I were I was really looking for these guys. Uh, I love this scale. And these are really um, nice and clean. Uh, these were also bought individually. Uh, these were in the junk section, but these were a bit. These were like priced higher than the other stuff. But um, yeah, you got the little, you got the puppy logos. Where's the pup? There's the puppy logo right there. See if I can get it. 
Uh, yeah, you can kind of see these are really small logos. Look at Mama's butt. Shake that booty, Mama. And uh, in one of my last videos, I found this Ultra, uh, Father of Ultra. And I thought this was from the same set, but then I got home and I realized that this was actually Bandai. But they're about the same scale. Mama's just a little bigger than Papa. But we've got a nice little family going on here. Love these guys. These are in my collection now. Um, and same three family members. I've also got uh, them in little Keshi form. I also found these uh, in an auction uh, with a bunch of other Ultraman stuff. So now I've got the, the little poppy Bandai set and I've got these little guys. Yay! And all the stuff that I decided to sell, that I, or decided to sell but like the good stuff, um, I got this in this bag here. I'm trying to sell them as a set. So we got another little set of uh, mother, father, son, and three little random uh, was Ultra 7 dudes. So I'm trying to sell this as a set. Uh, these are vintage early 80s, and these are like the bigger size. And then these get a little catchy guys from the 90s. But yeah, if you're interested in these, let me know. And yeah, that is it for that. Let me real quick jump into here. Uh, if my last... If you saw my last uh, hunting video, I did pick these up and I wanted to talk about them real quick. So I found these little, a little set of um, Mazinger uh, Z, Mazinger Z um, mini Sophobi dudes. These are also up for sale and uh, yeah, these are kind of related to what we're about to talk about. So I figured to show them real quick if you're interested. Also, something I picked up last week, I sold most of these guys. Now I've got three of these left and the reason I'm showing them is because related to that, I did find the little, uh, what's his name, Dra Gitter Dragon from this same little series, this little miniature poppy series. So, yeah, this is Gitter Dragon. And I didn't realize that the, I think, from what I could, what it feels like, he's actually got die-cast metal in parts of him. Like, I thought these were all going to be plastic, because these were all plastic. But it feels like uh, his, at least his lower legs, are actually made out of metal. So he's got some weight to him. But, uh, yeah, I found this guy also in the junk uh, bin today at Hobby Off. So I will be trying to sell. Unfortunately, I already sold the Getter uh, car vehicles. But if uh, the person that wants that bought those wants this, let me know. Or I'll be selling these maybe as like a little set, a little miniature poppy. Uh, Chogo King. Thingamabobbies. Chogo King. Next item up. This is all for sale right here. This is another junk bag. This came like this. I saw this, and I was like, yeah, I'm buying that. Uh, I got this for 300 yen. Um, I've owned a complete set of these. I'm not sure if this is a complete set. I don't think it's a complete set, but it's pretty close. There's a bunch of these guys. But these are uh, early 2000s Coca-Cola uh, premium toys. Dragon Ball Z, of course. Well, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. But uh, let's see. This is a nice little set, and um, I love these little things. I might keep some for myself. I sold my set to uh, my friend Mike Cabrera, but... Yeah, this is a nice little set. So we got we got Master Roshi here. We got Oolong and Poor. By the way, if you look at the bottom, uh, you can see the Coca-Cola right there. And these were given away with Coca-Cola uh, a decade or so ago. Krillin. Yajirobe. I'm not going to show all of these. Uh, here's one of the best ones. Whoa! Kid Goku. Giving the peace. Uh, we got Kid Gohan. That's another good one. And Bulma. I always love Bulma. King Kai. Kai Osama. Mr. Satan and Trunks. Yeah, you get the picture. That's most of them. Vegeta's! If you want these, let me know. Um, I won't be selling them for 300 yen, because that wouldn't make any sense. These are usually 1 to 300 yen a piece. So I just got really lucky with these. So, of course, I will give you a good deal on these. Better than eBay or anything like that. So, yeah, let me move these back over here. Uh, if you want those guys, I'll be selling them as a lot, most likely. All right, let's get to the main event. Um, I don't think I even hinted at this. I actually do have a junk bag right here. So if you stuck around to the end, here's a little reward for you. Here is a legit junk bag that I have gone through and taken out like the actual garbage. So anything that's in here is worth showing to you. Uh, although I did get this out of it as well. This was not garbage. This was just all the erasers of food and things that my daughter wanted. And this would be like two hour video if I showed you all this food and shit in here. So yeah, let's go through this real quick. I'll dump it out piece by piece here. 
pull up each little bit. I did organize it for you. All right, let's move these over here. All right, here's the first weird thing in here. I left it in here just to talk about it real quick. So I got this uh, little Charlie Brown, and I was like, oh, it's like a Keshi Charlie Brown. No, it's not Keshi. It's a, it's a crayon. So I don't know if you've ever seen anything like this before, but let me demonstrate. Crayon. Charlie Brown. Um, let's see. Ah, you're probably staring at these cards right here. Yeah, um, I got a lot, uh, like a giant bag of, where'd they go? Somewhere behind me. Anyway, aha, a giant bag of Star Wars and various, uh, see, this is, this is shit I had to get out of, because you're not going to look at, like, all these Star Wars bottle caps. These are all prequel Star Wars bottle caps. If you want to let me know, there's also some Kingdom Hearts in here, but most of this stuff was, like, and, and some Gundam. But most of this was junky, and I found some better, more interesting bottle caps. But in here, like, this was, with the, were these Playboy cards. So, I was like, okay. So, yeah, that was all in one junk lot. This is all mainly for one big junk lot. Um... But, yeah, these Playboy cards, I was wondering if they were, like, Japanese Playboy cards. Hold on a second before I get... But they're, they're not actually, like, there's no, there's no boobies. Like, they're, they're covered. I mean, they're basically the covers. But, yeah, these are interesting. I don't know if anyone wants these, but if you do, I don't want them. Not that I don't like boobies. I love boobies. But, uh, I'm not a Playboy collector. And also, it would be weird to keep these in the house. Just for various reasons, so... If you want them, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to sell them to Book Off or whatever. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's talk about these. So I found this gigantic... This was also... This is, again, this is the same lot. Gigantic uh, Yuina Himo badge um, with the Konami logo. So I guess this was a game or an anime. I'm not very familiar with it. And then there's also this little... Uh, this is like coasters? Actually, I didn't open this up. I, I could have sworn I saw like Anpanman or something in here too. Ugh. Let's see. So, okay. No. All right. So, yeah, it's a coaster set. So, if anyone is familiar with this character or game or anime or whatever, and you want this, I will be selling this as a set. This badge is pretty rad. I wish I knew what this stuff was. Oh, my goodness. I'm dropping my camera. That's all right. You notice you can see this right here? This is my old paper. It's all it's all fucked up now. So, I'm using this, this other paper. I don't have as much space to film, so you might notice this like little tapes. Behind the scenes, a little bonus for you. All right, um, also in there, in that same little bag, were these little uh, letters, which if you're old school, these were usually sold with cassette tapes uh, so you could label your cassettes. So I don't know why this was in there with these coasters, but they were. Maybe I'll use them for something. All righty. Up next, we got a couple little bagged premium toys. So. Uh, when I mentioned those Dragon Ball toys earlier, uh, those would have come in bags similar to this, like with this little ring on it with around the cola. So let's look at this one first. So we've got a, um, so this is for coffee. And we've got a Hayabusa uh, motorcycle. Let's open this up. Eh, eh. I'm not really a motorcycle guy, but I do like little motorcycle miniature toys. And if I can find a figure that will fit on this, you bet your ass, I'll put them on there. So that's a cool little figure. Cool little uh, miniature model. Miniature. I don't know if I call it a figure. Neat! And it's got, what is this, a kickstand or something? That's kind of cool. Alright, uh, if you're interested in that, I probably won't keep it, so let me know. Now, this was something that I thought was very interesting. So this was a round one uh, Ultraman little minifigure set. Uh, round one is a Japanese uh, bowling company, uh, bowling location, like entertainment place where you can go to play bowling. And it came with these uh, these characters inside and with the little bowling pins. And, you know, I don't mind whichever one I get, but I kind of want uh, this one right here with Ultraman bowling or the little bolts on here. But they're all cool. Or, yeah, well, Ultraman with a pen head. If you're interested in this, let me know. I'm not hell-bent on keeping it. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is uh, this will be for sale if you want it. <laughs> this is this is pretty cool. Uh, but not mine. Not, I don't collect this guy yet. But, yeah. Round one. Which, unfortunately, has was been clo has been closed recently. So, you know, once people sticking their fingers in holes and then 
rubbing them over balls and then, you know, sharing that with people. Rolling their balls everywhere. Speaking of balls, not really. Uh, I got this little set of Daruma. So Daruma are like a traditional Japanese thing uh, where you paint one eye and then you make a wish and then if the wish comes true you paint the other eye something like that and it came in multicolors so you got red let's get them all out here i've seen this set before by the way a red purple and i was tempted but it was kind of expensive when i saw it this wasn't like a dollar store set like i saw these at like uh, convenience stores or something orange blue they're all identical but these are all erasers um green pink, and white. And these are really cool little display pieces. If you want a set of these, I can get more. I, I kind of want to keep these, but I can get these pretty easily. But for the price I paid for this giant bag, that's awesome. And I want to keep these guys for later. Uh, actually, I need to clear some space to show you more of these erasers that I got, and also this these very interesting things over here. Give me a second. Okay, also in that little set of junk erasers and such, I got these little miniature uh, rescue vehicles. I don't know if you call them. I don't know if you call the police rescue, <laughs> but um, you got a little fire truck and it's catchy and it's like, it's got different parts that you can take off and it's got little plastic wheels. So this is uh, this is like basically like those little omake toys, like those Ava toys, except they've got the Keshi on top. So I love Keshi and I love o miniature omake SD little things. So these are awesome. These are cool. These bring out the child in me. Uh, you've got an ambulance. Uh, and you've got a police car, and these are a bit like like sun faded or aged, so I don't know how old these are, but these might be vintage. And they do roll. And the coolest one in the set is definitely this little police motorcycle. This is sick, and it's got like translucent little lights on the side. This one does not roll, so this this whole thing is uh, rubber. But I I really want to find a little figure to put on there. I'm just not sure what yet. Stay tuned to my Instagram at Tokyo Toy Bastard. This will definitely go up with a figure on it at some point. More erasers, just a moment. You know you're in Japan when you're out shopping for erasers for your children, you know, for their school, and uh, one of the options is a set of guns and bullets. <laughs> and uh, traffic cones were not in the same set. I just, I meant to put these in the last one and I, I forgot, so it's more color. Yeah, these are little Keshi traffic cones. And the elephant in the room, uh, right here, we've got some Keshi bullets. Uh, which are uh, kind of a metallic silver and then these kind of glittery gold uh, um, rubber, which is really sick. I love these. I fucking love these. Um, you've got some different guns here, also with that kind of uh, golden, uh, uh, gold, golden sparkly gold. Yeah, I don't know the names of these guns. I'm not like a gun nerd, but I do think these are fucking awesome. Uh, you've got this little dude. And this little dude, this is my favorite one. Uh, maybe. I don't know. This one's pretty cool too. I do like the gold. And then you got this big boy right here. Which, he's kind of boring because he's all in black, but I bet this would look really cool with some action figure. I don't know which one though. Let me know what action figure should hold these guns. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking too. Actually... Oh, Spike, give me your goddamn gun. His uh, his gun and this gun are uh, almost identical. Not exactly the same, but they're the exact same size. So, uh, yeah, these were definitely made, I guess, for dolls in this scale to hold. So let's see if we can give Spike that gun right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Spike. You're rocking the rubber gun now. You got rubber bullets? Oh, fucking rubber bullets. Continuing our Keshi theme, we've also got these little Keshi, the brightly colored little Keshi tanks in this one car, which does not go with the set, but it was in there and it was kind of cool. It's very like Mad Max looking. Got this like rigged out ro uh, motor. This is a muscle car of some sort. Uh, I don't know much about it, but it's kind of rad, so I held on to it. And then you've got these various tanks and... Uh, I think they have the different countries labeled on them, like uh, Deutsch. Yeah, so these both say Deutsch, which means Germany. So I guess these are German tanks. And then this one, 
This one says America, America. So I guess this is an American, uh, not a tank, but whatever this thing is called, an assault thing in Majabi. Where they stand behind here. This goes into the ground. This one, this is America too. I don't know. Is this a real? Was this used in war? This looks kind of. This looks kind of shitty. Like, I guess you would sit here and just die. I don't know. Let me know if you know what that is. Uh, also, I found these. Uh, I found a Dragon Ball die, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, I don't play any games that I could use this with, but when I do, you know I'm going to pull this out of my pocket. And I also found this little pink poo-poo keshi, which will go perfect with some of my uh, Dr. Slump Arale Chan uh, stuff, because she's always got that pink poo she's poking. Poking the pink poo! All right, now we're gonna move on to the final little set of items that were in the big junk bag that I bought today at Hobby Off. And we're gonna start it off with Mario. So this is a Pepsi Twist uh, Super Mario bottle cap. Um, I kind of think I was here originally when these came out, like 2005, I'm thinking. I don't think there's a date printed in here. Is there a date? Printed in here. Oh, there is. It does say inside. Has some information. It says Fire Mario. It says Pepsi. And is there a date? Is there a date? Nineteen. Oh wait, no. This is uh. I think it says nineteen ninety five. Is that right? Nineteen ninety five Nintendo. Okay. So, man, I don't know if that. That's not when the was it nineteen eighty five or nineteen ninety five. Uh, this is definitely, definitely nineties or later. This would not be the eighties, but. Uh, this was the only Mario bottle cap in there, and it's really cool because the cap itself is pixelated. The back of Mario is just black. This is rather rad. Uh, this is one of those things, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or sell it, but if you're interested, let me know and, you know, yeah. Speaking of Pepsi, so the coolest thing about all of those bottle caps that I showed you earlier, and why I said that those were kind of shitty, was because, yeah, Mario, but also... All of these Pepsi Man bottle caps. If you're not familiar with Pepsi Man, Google that. Um, but we've got several different ki kinds here. Uh, we've got these two here that have P and E on them. And they're making the P and the E. So I guess you could spell out Pepsi. But now it just says Pe or P-E. Or if you switch them around, it says Ep. So I guess I need to find the rest of this set. Uh, those are the least interesting of this set. Uh, you've got this one here, which is my favorite. You got Pepsi Man with a giant hot dog. Amazing. And a giant Pepsi. So these kind of look like a cool little set here. Sorry, Diet Pepsi. But these are just rad. Um, let's see if there's a date inside of these guys. It just says Diet Pepsi made in China. No date on these, so I'm not sure. Uh, these are very late 90s, early 2000s looking. I can't remember when Pepsi Man originally debuted, but it was sometime around the mid 90s, I believe. Uh, it was a Japan only thing, if I'm not correct. I mean, was it Japan only? If I'm not correct? <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> uh, if, yeah, I can't remember if he was Japan only or not, but I remember that there were like action figures and video games in, made in Japan based on him. But yeah, it's a thing. And the coolest thing out of all of these were these. These little Halloween ones. These are fucking cool. So you've got uh, Pepsi Man. Let's see if I can get better zoom on here you got pepsi man running away from some bats and there's a, a gravestone and a skeleton or a skull you've got a witch cooking pepsi man or boiling boiling him in a pot of stew in her cauldron sorry not in her pot in her cauldron i love the colors on this witch too that's really rad uh you've got a mummy uh picking up pepsi man and about to chuck him who knows where you got Pepsi Man in a coffin, which is also fucking awesome. Any date on the back of that? Nope. It just says PepsiCo. And you got Pepsi Man and a Wolf Man. And it looks like Pepsi Man's howling. Or or he's humping. It could be humping Wolf Man. Either or. Or both. Maybe he's howling and humping. Because that's the best way to do it. But yeah, these Pepsi Man, Min, Thingy Bobbies are awesome. So I am going to be selling these. Uh, 
Oh, I'm so tempted to keep a couple of them. But yeah, if you want the Halloween set for sure, I'm going to have for sale. So if you want that, or if you want Mario, or any of the other stuff. Or if you let me know really soon, I'll have all this other stuff. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to dump all this because I don't want to keep this in my house. I'm running out of space. But yeah. Pepsi Man. And this is the mess I made while filming. Off camera, I usually just throw everything behind me. Uh, and this was a massive, massive load today. Massive load of great stuff. But I get to clean it up again. Yay! By the time I get this cleaned up, this video will be online. You'll be enjoying it. So if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Like the video. If you didn't like the video, you can fuck off. Also, if there was anything that you saw that I said was going to be for sale or something related to something I said was going to be for sale, let me know on Instagram, at Tokyo Toy Bastard. Uh, I will be posting some of this stuff up in lots, at least the stuff that I'm selling. And, uh, yeah. Also, leave a comment. I like comments. I usually respond to comments. If I made a mistake or you want to fill me in on something, please do. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.